Back here at 360 Fitness, and today I'm going to talk about weight loss simplified. So, a lot of times people can really overcomplicate what it takes to lose weight properly and effectively over the short term and the long term. The internet is, is full of information, and a lot of times information can overlap and become very, very complicated and very, very confusing. So, you know, for instance, like, hey, you know what? lose weight on a low carb diet, lose weight on a high carb diet, you know, lose weight on a high protein, low protein, fats are bad, fats are good, like there is a ton of information out there and it's a double-edged sword because right now in health and fitness there is so much information out there that if somebody wants to put their mind to it, they can learn a ton about what to do, when to do it and why to do it to achieve amazing results. But at the same time, if you do not dedicate enough time and enough uh, you know, resources and energy into something, if you're just kind of sifting through information every now and then, it's really, really easy to become confused because there's a whole bunch of different opinions. And a lot of it comes down from um, really uneducated you know, fitness professionals really saying, hey guys, I need you to do this because it worked for me, okay? So a lot of times, you know, Instagram celebrities and out of the blue online personal trainers and you know really really people that should not be given advice give it too often because it something they did worked for them so they think that it should work for the next 3,000 people in line and that just isn't the way it should be and that isn't the way it goes so a lot of information gets mis misscrewed uh, or misstrewed on that one so today what we're going to be talking about is one of the three things that you need to know to lose weight over the short term and over the long term and understand implications and where it lies in importance. So you can really just uh, focus on the major issues and really avoid the minutia. So a lot of times people should not worry about, you know, carb cycling or intermittent fasting or, you know, high protein days, low protein days or calorie cycling until they have these three things down packed. Okay, so let's talk about it. So, the number one important factor of losing weight is a calorie deficit, okay? That's it, that's what it really comes down to. You need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight, okay? If we're just talking overall mass of a body, you need to be in a calorie deficit. And what that means is that you are just burning more calories than you're consuming in a day. Now, there are three ways to get into a calorie deficit. So you can, eat less and be in a deficit. You can work out more and be more active and burn more and be in a deficit. And the best way to do it is to do a little bit of both, okay? It is to eat a little less, eat better foods, and to work out a little bit more. So you're in a deficit from eating less calories, but you're also in a slight deficit from burning more calories. Rather than having it to, to depend on just being in a nutritional deficit or just being in an energy deficit uh, through fitness and exercise. So when people really focus on, hey, I'm gonna eat whatever I want and it's gonna work out five days a week for two hours, that can only work for some of us, but you're really gonna run into a lot of issues down the road and you won't have something to fall back on. Same thing goes to the people that say, hey, I'm going to you know, lose 10 pounds by going into a starvation diet and just making sure that they eat a lot less than they normally do. Again, it's good for the short term, but there's not a lot of, to bank on if things need to change. Where the long-term success comes from for weight loss is when people eat a little bit less and better foods, and then they work out a little bit more. So they have a dual deficit, so they don't have to go to extremes on one end. But really when it comes down to weight loss, guys, we need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. So uh, at 360 Fitness, everybody's different. Every single person is different, so, but when our weight loss clients come to us, we'll put them in anywhere between a 100 calorie deficit a day up to a 500 calorie deficit a day through a combination of nutrition uh, deficits or you know, making sure they eat a little bit less than what they were doing before and then also working out a little bit more than they were doing before. It doesn't have to be massive deficits. It doesn't have to be eating 800 calories a day and working out for two hours. That is a recipe for disaster. Okay? You should be kind of eating your basal metabolic rate and then some, and then working out anywhere between you know, two and four days a week of strength training and a little bit of cardio on the side. Don't overthink it, guys. Okay? That's the number one important factor. In number two, in a close second place, is the type of calories. Okay? So 
calories in versus calories out is the is the holy grail when it comes to weight loss, but it can take you only so far for performance and for nutrient, um, I shouldn't say that, no, more or less like nutritional opt optimization, okay? Hear me out. So if I'm eating 1,500 calories a day and losing weight, great. In terms of that, in that theory, I should be able to eat 1,500 calories a day of McDonald's, of Big Macs and fries and Coca-Colas, okay? So in saying that, sure, I'll lose weight on eating 1,500 calories a day if I, if I am losing weight at 1,500 calories a day, but do I feel good? No. Do I sleep good? No. Do I have good energy? No. Am I performing well in the gym? No. You know, is my mood crap? Probably. There's, that's where it comes to the type of calories. So short term, calories in versus calories out, but there comes a point where your performance needs to be taken into account. So your type of calories and your quality of calories and the nutrient density of your foods have to come into play where it goes a little bit farther than just calories in versus calories out, or else we'd just be eating jujubes jube all day and just having you know, a small fry with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's where the type of calories comes in, so that's kind of where that quality over quantity can kind of interplay. Again, you can still eat too much of the right foods and gain weight. So if I need to lose weight at 1,500 calories and I start eating 2,000 calories of chicken, rice, and vegetables, all good foods, I'm still gonna gain weight, okay? Just because they're good quality foods doesn't mean that your body can burn that calorie off any faster than that calorie from the Big Mac. So you need to make sure that you're in a calorie deficit and that you're also eating proper foods so you have energy to work out, so you have you know proper energy output for sleep, your mood's good, energy levels are good, brag con cognitive the functions good, a whole bunch of different things like that, okay? Still comes down to being a deficit and then being a deficit with good foods and good exercise. Now, third on the list and something that you shouldn't focus on or even worry about until these two things are in check is your food absorption and, and digestion rates, okay? So this is something that our trainers work with with our clients after these two things have been established and those variables are now constants. So we know that client is in a deficit we know that they're eating the right types of food that's at the right time, and maybe they're still not losing weight. Well, now let's look at how are those foods being absorbed, okay? Are they digesting all the nutrients coming from those foods, or is it just, you know, more or less just pooping and peeing it out, or getting gut rot from it? Are they bloating, are they gassing, are they inflamed, a whole bunch of different stuff. So we can eat those foods, but if our body can't process it and convert it into energy properly, well, then a whole bunch of different things can go wrong, okay? but we only start to look at that once we know that the calorie deficit is there, once we know that the type of calories are good calories and they're in a still small deficit, then we focus on are those calories being absorbed properly, are those calories being digested properly, and are we really getting the most bang for a buck per bite, okay? That's it when it comes to weight loss, guys, and I put three things on it, but really when it comes down to it, the holy grail is calorie deficit. Calories in versus calories out. A close second, is the type of calories, and we're talking especially not just losing weight, but body composition here. So if that person wants to lose body fat and add lean body mass, the type of calories is super, super important. And then to kind of take it to the next level, that 5% kind of, that twist to get them to the, that advanced stage is one we're really, really hammering on the types of foods that are absorbing and the types of foods that are digesting and making sure that it's optimal for it, okay? So really guys, until you have those three things in play, don't worry about you know, carb cycling and high protein and low carb and high fats and this diet and that diet and this fast and, and that detox and da 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 da. None of that crap matters until you have these three factors in check, all right? So if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns about what the heck to talk about in the last five, six, seven, eight, nine minutes, no idea how long this video is, uh, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be glad to help you out. And if there are a little bit more personal questions and you want to talk to me about certain things, just uh, DM us uh, on our social media channels and we'll be glad to help you out individually. I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.